All right, folks, I'm going to quickly walk you through kind of what I wanted to make sure you saw um, uh, in class today that we didn't get a chance to see. So I'm actually going to, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we'll just start walking through it. And if you have questions, come back and see me, but I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. So when I look at uh, the first section, it says name the vertex of each angle. Well, the angle is angle five. And if I was to highlight that angle right there, okay, the vertex is going to be this point right here. So I'm going to put down that this is going to be point M. Okay, the vertex is point M. And I want you to do the same thing for 3, 8, and angle M, NMP. Now, if I look at NMP, that's this angle right here. Okay, it goes all the way down there. So just something to think about as you look at that angle, NMP. Now, the next one says name the sides of, the, of each angle. So if I look at uh, number or angle six, where's angle six at? Um, two, yeah, let's go with angle six, okay? The sides of this angle, like we discussed in class today, are made up of rays. So I can go ahead and say NM, this side over here of angle six is one way to say it, NM, okay? And the other one would be one of these over here. Now, you could go lots of different directions with this one right here. You could say NO, because we'd be heading that direction, NP, heading that direction, or NR. Those are all the same rays there. So I will go ahead and just say something like this, NR. Okay? So again, those are the sides of the angle that we're looking at. Um, let's see here, OMN. Yeah, I, th I think the rest of that should be self-explanatory, okay? Um, we talked in class how to name the angles in different ways. So for like number 9 uh, and 10, I think you can figure out those. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Numbers 11 through 14, I need you to go ahead and borrow a protractor and make sure that you measure those angles correctly. Um, something we didn't talk about in class, but I think everyone should know, what does that right angle box signify? Okay, what does that mean? You have to know what that means. So if you don't know, either come back and talk to me or talk to a, a neighbor friend about that, okay? We looked at 15 together, so I'm actually going to go and have us take a look at number 16, okay? And as we take a look at this, here's what we have. Again, I'm going to mark it the exact same way we marked the one on the previous side. So I'll mark it like this, okay? And then we want to go ahead and, and figure out what the equation is going to be. So I'm going to look specifically at these angles, FCG. So if we look FCG, this angle here, and angle GCB, this angle here, okay? And you want to think to yourself, what's the relationship between those two? Well, again, based off those markings, what we know is that these two are equal to each other, okay? And so again, I'm gonna just go ahead and write this down. FCG is equal or congruent to angle GCB. From there, you should be able to plug in the expressions, okay? And be able to go ahead and solve for X and then plug it back in to get the measure of angle GCB. So back right in here, okay? So um, the last two are challenge problems, and, and I'm going to give you hints. I want to see if you can figure these out without me helping you. So in number 17, we are told that angle AOC is a certain measure, angle AOB, and angle BOC, okay? Now what's unfortunate of those three angles, AOC, AOB, and BOC, is that none of them are congruent. AOB is congruent to COD, but it's not congruent to any of the three that were listed. So the question we need to ask ourselves is this. What's the relationship between this angle here, the big angle, this angle here, the small angle, and this angle here, the medium-sized angle? Okay. So what might help, and I'll try to get rid of some things here for you, if I was to go ahead and redraw this picture here, I'm going to put O right here and C right here. And we have something like B. Go right up. Good. And then we have A. 
okay? So I've basically gotten rid of all the excess information, and, and we are asking this. What's the relationship between the big angle and the two smaller angles, okay? That's what you need to figure out. Once you've figured out the relationship of these three angles, you then can set it into an equation, and then you can go ahead and solve for x, okay? So again, remember an equation, the reason it's called an equation is because it's equal sign within the equation, okay? So just remember, there's got to be an equal sign in there. The last one, number 18, probably the most challenging one of the page, if I can get that focus there, okay? We are given information about AOB, BOC, and then AOD, okay? Now, here's the deal. With this one, we know information about this one, this one, and this one, but we don't know information about this one. Or do we? Well, these two are congruent, right? Hmm, keep that in mind. So the question really is, since these are the same measure, if I know this one, this one, and this one, and I know the whole, what's the relationship? How do they relate to each other? How can we bring them together to form an equation? Okay? So, uh, I'm, I'm again leaving these last two kind of vague, and I, I want to stretch you a little bit. I want to see if you can figure it out. Obviously, use your neighbors, use your partners, use, use someone you know that, that, that is smart at math if you're not sure, because I really want to see if you can figure it out. So, Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope that made sense, and uh, I will see you the next time I see you. Thank you.